hi welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to crochet a sunburst granny square which is perfect for beginners and for the ones who did not crochet this yet also so it's for both let's go to it i will make it as easy as it is so i have here four different colors one two three four I'm gonna start from this color here and this one is the next one until here is our last color which is the white one I'm gonna use four millimeter hook so pick up your favorite set of colors and let's get to it first we're going to make a magic circle to make a magic circle place the end in front of you you put that closer and then I'm gonna grab this one here and then I will just wrap it like this. I'm gonna insert my hook there and then grab this yarn here like that and then I'm gonna pull this one to close it a little bit the circle here just pull this one very easy not so close like that and then I'm gonna make a chain of three. One, like this, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. We have three chain, one, two, three. Then we're now going to make a double crochet. This is our first double crochet. So now we're going to make a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook in the circle, Grab that yarn and pull, pull up a little bit. Grab that yarn and pull through two loops. Grab that yarn, pull through the rest of the loops. That's our second double crochet. I will just repeat that one uh, 14 more times. So that's one, two. three four five so i'm gonna go back until i get 14 double crochet and 16 double crochet in total this is going to be my last one and then go to the third chain once you're done one two three insert grab and pull and pull through so let's count it together one two this is your first on the third chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen as you can see you still have a stitch here that is not count as a stitch so we're gonna leave that alone so we should have 16 only in total in our next round so once you're done put this one pull this one because we're gonna close this circle here in the middle pull it like this that's the purpose of magic circle that we can close this properly here in the middle and then we can secure that later on so yarn over and pull through pull tight grab this one pull tight and then cut the yarn like that and out this is your first uh, color done grab the next color we're going to make a slip knot this is the end of your hook of your yarn grab that one place your hand like this wrap it like this one two index finger and thumb hold the end of the yarn and fold this one here 
and pull this one like that. Insert your hook under, turn it all the way around, grab and pull through. And pull, pull this one. We have a slip knot. Take the hook out, grab your first uh, piece, insert your hook on the third chain, this one here. First, let's uh, secure the stitch here. I'm going to make this in a half. That, I'm going to grab that yarn, the other half, pull, and make a few knots. That's one. And that's two. Go in the next one. In the next stitch, do the same. Go in the other side. Grab the other piece, go up to the other side, and make another few knots. Turn it together, go in the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull, go in the other next stitch, grab the yarns and pull, and do the same until it's gone. Okay, so on the third chain, which is this one here, or just insert your hook anywhere in the stitch to begin. I'm going to insert my hook here, that one, and insert your hook here on the slip knot. Wait. And then pull and make a chain of three or two one two now in the same stitch we're going to make a puff a stitch yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab that yarn and pull up a little bit until it is balanced to the chain two like this grab a yarn Pull for two loops only. Now you have two loops left in your hook. I'm gonna repeat that until I have five loops in my hook in total. One, two, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab a yarn and pull up, grab a yarn and pull for two loops again. Now I have three loops in my hook. Three yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab a yarn, pull up, grab a yarn, pull through two. Again, I have four loops in my hook. Repeat, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab a yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull through two loops again. And this time we have one, two, three, four, five. That's ready. Yarn over. Pull through all the loops in your hook. Like that. Then chain one. And go in the next stitch. Yarn over. Go in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull. Up. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over, go in the same stitch, grab a yarn, pull up, grab a yarn, pull through two again. Three loops in your hook, grab a yarn, insert your hook in the same stitch, grab a yarn, pull up, grab a yarn, pull through two again. Yarn over, go in the same stitch. Grab a yarn, pull up, grab a yarn, pull through two. You have four, five loops in your hook. Yarn over, pull through all that loops in your hook. Pull up, 
pull this a little bit. That's so tight. Chain one. And I'm going to repeat this one all the way around. I have until I have 16 of this puff a stitch in total. 16 only. Don't take the slip stitch. Okay. This is my last L puff a stitch. Yarn over, pull through all. Chain one. Go on the third chain. One, two, three. Insert. Yarn over and pull and pull through. Chain one, pull tight and cut the yarn. Oh, this is how it looks like. Make sure you have 16 in total. Let's put this here as our marker and let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of a stitch in total. We're going to grab the next color, which is this one. Insert your hook here in a chain one here. Let's take this one. Take that one anywhere. I will take this one actually. And then insert your hook here in the slip knot and pull. And then make a chain of two. One, two. Then in the same stitch, we're going to make a slip, a puff stitch again. So yarn over. Insert your hook in the here in the same chain one space. Grab and pull up. Grab and pull through two. Just like what we did here. Repeat. Yarn over. Insert your hook in the same chain one space. Grab and pull up. Grab and pull through two. Grab. Insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull up grab and pull for two grab yarn over insert in the same stitch grab and pull up grab and pull for two five loops in your hook yarn over pull through all pull a little bit chain three one two and then three go in the next chain one space skip this uh, puff stitch here yarn over and repeat insert your hook there and chain one space grab and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over go in the next and the same stitch grab and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull up grab pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch grab and pull up grab and pull through two five loops in your hook yarn over pull through all chain three one two and three and repeat this one all the way around until you have 16 puff stitch in total. This is my last puff stitch. Yarn over, pull through all. Chain three, one, two, and three. Go in the third chain. One, two, three. Insert. Grab that yarn and pull and pull through. Chain one. Pull tight and cut the yarn. Secure the remaining stitch as always. And this is how it looks like. It's so beautiful. I really love the color combination of this one. So perfect. Let's see the other side. Okay. So now for the white one, make a slip knot to begin. Then grab the flower, insert your hook anywhere in the chain three. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna insert my hook in the slip knot and pull and make a chain of three. One, two, three, serve as our first double crochet. And then here in the 
same chain three space we're going to crochet a two double crochet so yarn over insert your hook here and chain three space yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two repeat yarn over insert your hook in the same space grab and pull up grab pull through two grab pull through two just like what we did in round uh, one in our first yarn and then chain two one two insert your hook in the same space chain three space place three double crochet again yarn over and pull yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so in this part here in a white color we're going to make a double crochet only yarn over insert your hook in the same uh, chain three space grab a yarn pull up grab a yarn pull through two grab a yarn pull through two repeat grab a yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two like that that is our first corner of our flower so now we're going to go in the next chain three space this time we're going to make only three double crochet insert your hack there and chain three space in the next chain three space make three double crochet one two three go in the next chain three space place three double crochet one two and three in the next uh, chain three space three double crochet we're gonna repeat this one here now no, I mean we're going to place three more double crochet here. Sorry, three more double crochet. One, two, and three. This is how it look like for now. First corner of our flower. Okay, continue. Three double crochet in the next chain three space one two three chain two one and two three double crochet in the same chain three space just like what we did here one two and three and there you go you have your first as uh, a second corner one two so now after this one i will repeat this one one two three in each of these three chain spaces here three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet and then repeat the corner again here and then after that repeat this one here again so let me just show you then it is easier so three double crochet in the next uh, chain three space one two three three double crochet in the next stitch or chain three space one two three we're working now in chain three spaces only so one two two more one oops was a broken one sorry one two three so let me show you again corner three double crochet chain two three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet chain two three double crochet repeat this one here to this one here and then repeat this one again 
because we already have three. So one, two, three, corner. One, two, three, corner. Corner, three double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet in the same chain three space one, two, three. Let me show you again first corner, second, third, and in every corner in between of the corner, we have three double crochet set. One, two, three, in chain three space, just like here. One, two, three, set. And repeat this one again because we're done with the next corner, with this corner here. So we're going to make this one again. Three double crochet, three, three, in chain three spaces. One, two, three. Fill up those with three double crochet each. One, two, three. Go in the next one. 3 double crochet again, 1, 2, 3, go in the next one, 3 double crochet, 1, 2, 3, so we are done with 3 double crochet set, now the corner, we're going to make the last corner of our flower, 3 double crochet, one, two, three, chain two, three double crochet in the same chain three space. One, two, three. Our corner, last corner is finished. Now we're going to fill up these three remaining three chains with three double crochet each. One, two three go in the next chain three space place three double crochet again one two three go in the next one or the last one one two oops and last one three once you're done go here on the third chain one two three insert grab and pull and pull through so that's it you're done chain one pull tight and cut the yarn oh this is so beautiful Look how beautiful the color is, better than I expected. So we're going to crochet, I mean, secure the remaining stitch. Divide it in half and pull that one. And make a few knots. Secure it on your own way, it is easier. Just make sure they are secured properly. Go in the next one, grab. Go in the opposite one, grab, and then make a few knots, and hide the rest. Twist them together, make them in one, hide, hide, to make it cleaner. I go here at the back. Just hide them here. One, two. It's going to be my last one, and then I'm going to cut the rest of those. Okay, I'm satisfied. Cut and also here, I still have to secure this one here. I will just insert my hook here. Divide this in half again. I grab that yarn and pull and make a few knots. I'm 
repeat to secure it properly. I'm gonna insert my hook here, not so far from this yarn here. And then I would just make another few knots to make it easier. I'm gonna hide the rest of the yarn, twist it, grab, insert your hook here, grab and pull, grab here. This is going to be my last one. I'm gonna cut the rest of that yarn. Perfect. Okay. And you're done. There is something here. Let's cut this one. So we have four corners. How beautiful it is. So now you can make different colors and arrange different colors accordingly how you want it. And then you can make a nice piece out of this. So that's it for this video guys. If you want to learn how to crochet a flower, I also place that in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Also, if you have a friend who wants to learn to crochet, I also have a video of that in the description box below. How to crochet for absolute beginners. I crochet dresses, summer tops, summer loose tops, winter stuff, hats, a pullover. So go ahead, check that out. And more in crochet crucialine tutorial so that's it guys if you also want to have a written pattern i actually have a written pattern also in etsy so that's it for this video guys thank you for tuning in and see you bye